Right, ladies and gents, um, I haven't made a video for a while. I hope you can hear me, I'm a little bit croaky. Um, I've had a bit of a chest infection and infected sinuses for the last few weeks, so I've been a little bit out of it, hence the plot's a little bit weedy, but um, everything's really moving on. Just to start, I'll just come back a bit. I'm making a start. I've put a couple of new big posts in. Um, I would like to make uh, an archway where I come in, um, I'll just turn around. Um, I've left them quite long because I'm going to build um, an arch over the top and hopefully put some clematis and stuff in. Um, but mainly it's like this corner post is so that I can replace, start to replace this fence um, up the side of my plot. This is the last sort of side that I've got to deal with. Um, oops, sorry, I nearly dropped it then. Um, so, well, it's it's been really hard to do any videoing down here. Um, I haven't been down here much myself, but when I have, there's been people down. So, um, here's a quick update. Garlic, just starting to show signs of rust. Um, I'm going to leave it um, as long as I can. I have had a poke around. Um, they're not bad, the bulb, the bulbing up nicely, um, they're not bad but I would like to leave them a bit longer to try and get sort of as much, as big a cloves as possible. Red onions just romping on, um, we've been picking these and eating them. Um, it, it's hard to show you the size really because I've got really big hands, um, but they are splitting a little bit, one or two of them, um, which I don't think it matters because I'll just peel them off, but they really are coming on nicely, the red onions. Um, down this side, first thornless blackberry. What I've done is I've taken out all the little weedy branches and I've just got two stems that I've started to tie up um, and I'll train them along. The strawberries still looking a little bit pale. I think it's nitrogen. I think because I put a lot of composted bark and stuff in that mix, if you like, to fill that bed, I think they're lacking a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some pelleted chicken manure again, soak it overnight in water and water them in just to try and get a little bit more feeding. Oh, the sun's coming out, that's nice. Um, second thornless blackberry started to tie that in now i have never grown dwarf french beans before because to be honest i thought there'd be a bit of a i don't know i just don't see how a little plant like that can have some you know enough beans on but i kid you not i have we, we're eating these by the bucket load um there is absolutely what we can see in there there's absolutely boat loads it's just they're phenomenal, they're absolutely phenomenal. Um, the second lot are coming along nicely there. Um, and there's the third thornless blackberry, um, just starting to tie that in. So, my autumn, let me get this right, yeah, autumn fruiting blackberries, really, they're just, they're still building roots and they're still settling in. They've grown a little bit. Um, something is eating them, the leaves. Something is eating the leaves, I don't know what it is. Um, I have noticed little bugs on it, but they look like sort of little ants or little flies. They don't really look like anything that would eat leaves. Um, but I don't know. So the summer raspberries, the canes are growing nicely now. So I'm gonna start tying them up. The tear berries, I did a similar thing with the tear berries as the blackberries. I've cut out all the weedy little weak stems. Um, I don't know if you can get it, it doesn't look a bit bright on the screen. Um, and I've started to tie them in. So I will, like, they've sort of got three main stems each. Um, and I've started to tie them in. The strawberries, I didn't get any strawberries this year off of this. I did have some strawberries on it, but the birds beat me to them. 
So uh, what I've been doing is I've just, because they've only gone in this year, I've keep cutting off the runners uh, and I'm letting them sort of grow into bigger plants. Onions, white onions, same again, ramping on, really fattening up nicely now. Um, if it's dry, I've been watering. Right, so this is where we get to where well, I haven't been doing out. If you can see in there, I'll just try and move the me second lot of beetroot. Now these are, it's not easy with a four. These are in little clumps. There's sort of two or three in each clump. Um, so, and they're, they're just fattening up nice and steadily. The radish, I'm gonna pull out. I can't do it today. I've just absolutely no energy whatsoever. My first lot of beetroot. Let's see if I can get down here. They're really doing well. Um, you know, they want to come up now. My spring onions, like I say, they've been a bit naff. Um, my monge two peas, really doing well. Wind's blowing them to one side a bit, but as you can see, tons of flowers on. Um, and hopefully should get plenty in there. Now, I've had to put a bit of a top on the parsnip and carrot bed because little birds were getting in and just digging up all little holes. So this is my third little radish. These are nearly ready. This is a bit of a disaster. Like I said, the birds got in that there, from there down to here. It were Chantenay carrots, but I've literally only got from here down to their left. The birds flicked up all that and made a right mess. My sweet candle carrots sown in dibbed holes. Um, just a conical hole made with a big bar filled with nice sieved compost. They're coming on. I need to thin them down to one now. Um, my early Nantes carrots, they're thin. They're just fattening up slowly but surely. My parsnips are coming on. I'll just get back a bit, see if I can. Um, they're really thickening up and the tops are coming on well now. I had a bit of a disaster with some seed. Um, I did a row, let me see if I get my fat fingers in. Down there, one germinated, which is that one. So I've just dibbed some more holes, put some compost in and put some fresh seed in. So I've basically got another five parsnips out of doing it but still you know I do like parsnips so it's worth the effort now the sprout cage for you eagle-eyed followers there was six sprouts in there well like I said I don't like sprouts really I like a few my wife loves them uh, and two plants was plenty so a neighbor of mine offered me some broccoli and some other kale some oh, Nero de Toscana or something like that it's, I think it's a, a dark kale so I gave her the I gave four sprouts and I've put some more kale and the broccoli in there um, and we'll see how they go I've got me climbing French beans in I'm gonna have to make some kind of wind break behind them um, I'll probably just make a couple of end frames for the beds and use them. Leeks are in. You've seen how everybody does the leeks. Dib a hole, uh, drop it in. I don't cut any bottoms off. I don't cut any tops off. I don't cut any roots off or anything. I just pull them apart, give them a quick wash and sling them in. And they seem happy. Me lettuce, I don't know if you can see them because they're black. They're like a dark um, lettuce in there. That might be better. They're like an oak leaf type, and then there's another one, I'm not sure what that is. This jungle, um, potatoes, on the outside there's three tubs of Charlotte there. I put them in later, so that I'd get later new potatoes, but they're already flowering. Um, I mean, it has been quite a while, but not that long. I have pulled one tub and emptied it, just to see... Uh, what it was like it was the Aaron pilot it was in there they were fantastic so uh, when I'm feeling a little bit more energetic because I literally cannot lift them tubs out 
um, I will do a potato reveal. My very first potato reveal. Got to be honest, I am a little bit excited about doing the potato reveal because everybody, everybody does them and it, it's such good fun. Um, so yeah, all my potatoes are cracking on there. Um, I've had a little bit of a delve even in the pink fur apples and there are lots of little pink fur apple potatoes in there. So uh, a potato reveal coming soon. The little wildlife pond in the corner. Now it's not so little but it's... I did try dig down but I met so many roots I've built it up. Now I am doing a full video of the wildlife pond as it's being built and as it develops and I will put that on as one single video um, when I finished it. Now the gooseberry bush I did I wanted to train it somewhere somehow and I didn't come where I was gonna spell here or what I didn't know. Anyway I've done it in a fan because um, as most people know gooseberries fruit on last year's wood mainly so if I did an espalier or it, some of the forms of training that you know I would be having to cut off the, the fruit in wood to keep the shape so the fan is sort of what I've come up with I've got another apple tree there that I'm going to try and train um, so watch this space with the gooseberry um, I'm going to be working on filling this bed with manure uh, courgettes Let's just see if we can get in there. Courgettes romping on, absolutely romping on. But they will be because they're in manure. You know, they are literally planted in a bit of compost in manure. Now I also use this as a bit of a nursery. As you can see down there, there's some leeks. Um, in this corner, there's some spare swedes that I'm just sort of hardening up a little bit. I'm gonna get out. And over in that corner, peas and um, what happens is I've put four peas in each pot and I'm gonna plant them out and um, once they get bigger in here I've got some more cauliflowers I've got winter cauliflowers and purple sprouting broccoli and quite a lot of it um, the compost bin that I'm working on is this one and they're just sat on topping tubs I've got all that and a couple more bags of stuff that I've been gathering to put in so now patio i'm not sure where i were last time but i've got the three levels done now what i've decided is sorry if i'm a bit shaky like i said what i've decided is to make it easier to turn out these compost bins and empty them and turn them it's going to be much easier if there is hard standing in front of them a hard surface that I can just flick it all out and shovel it on so what I've decided I'm going to flag all the way across there so that I can just oik everything out and throw it back in again sweep up and it's nice and tidy so that is my plan for the patio I'm going to extend it all the way down still got the gap for me big plastic water container IBC ICB I never know what the hell they call them um, it's going to go in there Nothing's happened on the shed, really, because it's waterproof and it's full. Um, my brassica tent, kale mental, F1 reflex. I can honestly say this has been so easy to grow from seed and it's just berserk. It just grows like Billy O. We, I've had a bit of a problem because this bed is under the ash tree which I'm gonna trim back some more uh, in winter it has got a bit dry but to be honest the kale has just romped on the cauliflowers that were in here the summer cauliflowers um, there's a little one still in there I'm just letting trying to fat up a little bit um, they they've all come out they're being taken home uh, and ready to freeze and I've just put some more winter collies in and I've got another six to go in um, in there now the Swede now my Swedes lots of top not much bottom and I do think it is the watering I think it's struggling a bit so 
Um, I've managed to get down a couple of times in the last few weeks um, and water and I mean really water as in like putting a horse pipe on them and just forgetting about it for an hour um, and it's made a massive difference they're starting to fatten up the roots are starting to fatten up so if you're growing swedes and they're not fattening up just get tons and tons of water on them so I'm gonna have to call it a day because my voice is going it's um I'm not, it really is going, I'm struggling. So, um, I'm going to do a greenhouse update because that is like a jungle. Tomatoes, cucumbers, just going mad. Um, and also, like I say, I am in the process of doing a, 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 a video, sort of the whole um, build of the pond. So I'll explain in detail more what I've done in, in that video. Um, it'll take probably a few weeks to finish. Um, I'm going to just line it with with a liner and put um, wood around the top. So, right, thank you very much uh, to all my subscribers. Um, you know, I really, really appreciate your lovely comments um, every time I put a video on. Um, we are all doing this for fun. I know some people do do it for, you know, money and that, but, you know, most of us are just doing it for fun. Um, and I, for me, it's really brilliant to go back and watch my videos and see how it's coming on, see what's going on. Um, I really do enjoy it. So I really must thank all my subscribers. If this is your first video, please subscribe and like. Um, if you don't like it, feel free. If you don't like it, I'm really not bothered. Um, people, people that dislike videos, you know, it really would be nice. You're better off, leave a comment. If there's something that you're not happy with, if there's something you don't like, we as YouTube video makers, if you like, we can't read your minds. We don't know what it is that you didn't like. So rather than disliking, put a comment. If there's something that you don't like, put a comment, and then if possible, we can change it, or we can do something, or we can explain why we've done something. Um, there really is no need to dislike a video um, that's just put on for fun. You know, we really are just doing this for fun uh, and so we can follow our allotments. So thank you for now um, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.